with, with the global supply chain issues that we're currently seeing, people are looking around for those products that they may need for future automation products a lot earlier, but also opening up their eyes to what else is available in the market. Oliver, we're here today at Fanuc UK to uh, find out from you and learn from you the importance of the partnerships between system integrators and equipment manufacturers when it comes to automation like we see behind us. Um, you're involved heavily in that, aren't you? Yes, uh, we're very proud of the fact that we um, have some great relationships with existing integrators, but also we, we um, are pushing heavily on, on, on making new relationships and, and ensuring that we put the right things in place for long-term relationships to flourish, uh, not only with integrators, um, the UK needs integrators as you know, um, but also with OEM customers who need um, a helping hand in the right direction to ensure that their product, when they take it to market, um, is as risk-free as possible. I'm going to use one example here, um, Recycle Eye. Uh, Victor, we've had here today, which you've been doing some filming with. How involved were you in that? And, and, and maybe walk us through briefly that partnership and how important you, you guys were in being involved. Yeah, so the work with Recycle Eye started probably about two years ago. And we helped them uh, along the road to actually develop a product um, that is now um, sort of hitting the market by storm, really. Um, we did a lot of simulation work to ensure we got the right robot for the job to make sure we put the right software in place, the interface to their piece of kit, which is the, the AI-driven vision system, um, and did a lot of uh, sort of physical trials on um, vacuum systems to ensure we've got the right pick rate, um, and give them the experience from our engineering team here uh, in how to actually run a project, deliver and install the equipment, and make sure everything's safe, which is obviously important for those end users. Automation has FANUC or Fanuc has got automation running through its veins, Oliver. How, uh, how much more demand is there for it now, post-COVID, uh, than there was before? Yeah. We've seen things really pick up. Um, the last few months has kind of been crazy. We don't know whether we're, uh, we're coming or going, quite honestly. Um, we see quite a big increase from the bigger blue chip customers um, that have kind of been a little bit quiet over the COVID period, not knowing how things are going to pan out. Um, also, a lot more integration companies coming to us um, with, with the global supply chain issues that we're currently seeing. Um, people are looking around for those products that they may need for future automation products a lot earlier, which is good, but also opening up their eyes to what else is available in the market um, so that we've got customers coming who have currently used or previously used um, other products from other competitors uh, and just exploring their options.